I'm James Neville Taylor with the Builder All Team. In this video, we're going to go over connecting your bot to your website. So the first thing we need to do is come to the Bot for Website tab. And then we can create a new bot for your website and name it. And select the page that we want to add the integration to. We can select a starting flow for when someone interacts on your website. We can select the theme color. We can select what greeting is displayed when someone's logged in, what greeting is displayed when someone's logged out, the display type, and the delay before the greeting is shown. Once you've set this up, click Save, and then we're going to click Embed. If this is the first time you're setting this up, you're going to need to whitelist your domains. You're going to learn how to do that by clicking on the How button right here. This is going to open up a new page showing you how to whitelist domains. You need to whitelist this one for anything to work. Make sure you copy this and then you can open this URL to be taken to the place where you can whitelist the domains. This is going to open your page and the messenger platform. To get here from Facebook, we click the settings page and then messenger platform. We scroll down to whitelisted domains and we paste the domain that we just copied. And we copy any other domain that we want to set up. So for example, I'm going to do banomad.com. I'm going to type in the https colon forward slash forward slash banomad.com. I also need to type in the www dot prefix as well. I type in again https colon forward slash forward slash www.banomad.com For the sake of showing you this in the editor, I'm going to put the editor URL in as well. Now all the domains that I want to display the chatbot on are whitelisted. I click save, and then I go back to the chatbot. I'm back on the chatbot. I'm going to go back to my pages. I'm going to refresh the page where I just added the whitelists. Come back to the bot for website and edit the bot we were working on. Click embed and you can see all the domains that I whitelisted now show up in the whitelisted domains area. Now I can copy this and go to the site editor to add it to my website. I'm on my website. I'm going to click add element. I'm going to go down to apps, add HTML. I'm going to edit and paste the code in between the two head tags hit confirm. My little messenger bot is displaying in the HTML box. I drag and adjust the HTML box to the size it needs to be. Now I can pin this element to the bottom right where it belongs. I can just extend it up to make sure that nothing gets cut off. I go preview. There it is. I can continue as James. It's going to bring up the full messenger. Because I haven't got any flows or automation set up on this page, there's no automation. But you can see why I had to extend the HTML box or it would get cut off. I'm going to return to edit. Now it's going to show the full size. So you can see if I make it smaller, it gets cut off and doesn't show the whole thing. You need to adjust it so it fits the whole box inside. Then you can save and publish. You have the bot on your website ready to go. So in this video, we went over adding the Builderall chatbot to your website. 